25 people were arrested before and during the game. And the Villa fans are on the field. Villa fans surged onto the pitch after the final whistle. It was a goalless draw, a result that takes Villa to Wembley and the final of the Coca-Cola Cup. But the triumph was marred by the pitch invasion. The Football Association has condemned the fans. It says encroachment onto the field of play is a criminal offence and will be treated as such. The FA and Villa say it was mainly a celebration of victory. But at one point it sparked fears of a clash with Arsenal supporters. Fans had to be kept apart by stewards and police. Villa says any person identified will be disciplined. I can understand their relation last night, but nevertheless they were wrong and those that, were, that we can uh, detect will, uh, will be punished in the form of refusal to enter Villa Park for any successive matches and denied a cup final team. It was obviously a highly charged and exciting game that went into extra time and unfortunately at the end of that excitement uh, a lot of the fans decided to celebrate by going onto the pitch, which obviously A is a criminal offence, but more importantly, could be very serious ramifications for the club as well. Police arrested 25 people, mostly before the game. The Home Secretary went to Villa recently as it prepared to host the European Championships. The FA say last night's pitch invasion does not jeopardise the club's role in that major event, but once again it highlights the potential for trouble. A snooker ball was thrown recently at a Birmingham City match and last night a thermos flask was hurled onto... Aston Villa will be at Wembley. Question is now, can Birmingham City join them in the final of the Coca-Cola Cup? Away goals took Brian Little's team through with no score in their semi-final second leg against Arsenal. It was a record 10th League Cup semi-final for Aston Villa and a full house of 40,000 to see it through. Dwight York put Aston Villa in this strong position with his two-goal comeback at Highbury. If David Seaman hadn't got to this, it would have been a goal. Referee Burge from Tony Pandy was blindsided of the incident when York used an arm. Andy Townsend lost a contact lens and then had huge problems inserting a fresh one. The nearest that Arsenal came to getting the goal that they so desperately needed came from Ian Wright's skills and from fullback Nigel Winterburn's excellent shot. No goals in extra time and so for once, no penalties. And Wembley for a record seventh time. Relief, joy and disappointment all merge for players new to success and a manager who's been there and done it before. I'm delighted for, for everybody because some of the lads here haven't been fortunate enough to play in a major final and I can tell you it's wonderful. Now we've got to go and win it. It's brilliant for the supporters. Uh, you know, this club has got great ambition and uh, hopefully we can put a trophy in the cabinet this year. We're there now, you know, and you feel as though we're going to win it. I can't see anybody stopping us. Now there's confidence and a lap of honour. And Aston Villa now wait to see who they'll play at Wembley.